One of the most dangerous elements of 45's presidency is happening right under our nose. Directly undermining black women will adversely impact African American and other minority communities. But it is something we as voting constituents have sway in. We just have to be aware of what's happening. The judicial branch of our government is one of the areas that the average American is less familiar with. We know there's a Supreme Court, might not really understand the trajectory that it takes to get there. Can you name the other levels of the courts in your state? There's traffic court, I think most of us know that. Civil, district, court of appeals. Whoa, 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 whoa. what? Before, before I lose you, let's really back to this administration. So if you glance at the news in the past year and change, um, one thing we've all heard about is a spike in coverage of Trump laws being challenged by federal Court. And as we've mentioned, the federal judge in Hawaii put the president's travel ban on hold. A federal judge blocking the Trump administration's decision to end the Dreamers program. On News involving the Trump administration. A federal judge in California has blocked a Trump administration. A U.S. Order. judge on Tuesday blocking President Donald Trump's latest version of the travel ban nationwide. I think if you ever took a his American history class, you do learn about checks and balances. And the judicial branch of our government is the last kind of wing of the checks and balances and that there's a presidency who's been checked by the Congress. Then the courts kind of come in when necessary. So if judges matter, if judges can sway things that impact our livelihood, our day-to-day -day living, our ability to even exist and live in this country, then the representation of said judges also matters. 58 black women have sat on the bench of federal courts in the entire history of federal courts being a thing in the United States of America. 156 black men, 312 white women, and 2,911 white men. With the vastness of this country, I mean, America is a big, beautiful, diverse land. That means many jurisdictions have never even sat a woman on the bench, let alone the dearth of black women on the bench. <laughs> What a country, oh America. Remind you, in the history of our federal courts, 26 of whom were appointed by one Barack Hussein Obama. That means in the last 12 years, half, half, of the black women who ever sat on the bench were appointed by one president. While 45 of a course has appointed, well, he's appointed no black women. However, he has scuffled through some of the most unqualified candidates we have ever seen in recent years. And yes, you should be concerned. Welcome gentlemen, congratulations. Um, you can just raise your hand on this one if you will. Have any of you not tried a case to verdict? in a courtroom. Mr. Pitch, have you ever tried a jury trial? I have not. Civil? No. Criminal? No. Bench? No. State or federal court? I have not. By the way, man, what, what, what cologne are you wearing? It's privilege by white people. Privilege by white people. Hey, man, stop smelling like discrimination and lack of representation and wear some privilege by white people. While 26 black women who Obama appointed were successfully confirmed to federal judgeships, it is still egregious some of the treatment that black women candidates who were nominated by Obama received as they were blocked by the Republican senators. For instance, Linda T. Walker and Natasha Perdue Silas, both were nominated to fill vacant judgeships in the Northern District of Georgia in 2011 and could not receive support from their Georgia senators, the senators that you elect. Here's the gag. Most senators believe that the American voters, the general population, is not paying attention to the judicial nomination process. There is a belief that there's a lack of awareness that the president nominates a person for the federal courts. They then pass through a Senate Judiciary Committee for a hearing and vote. And if they pass that, then they go straight to the Senate for a vote. It's literally like a flick of the wrist or the blue slip and you're out. And some of the black women who were up for nominations couldn't even get reasons why. Most prominently, this was the case in North Carolina where there's been a long standing vacancy in the district courts as senators don't even bother to explain why. They would not support Obama's nomination of Jennifer May Parker. For the hell of it, they actively insisted on blocking Patricia Timmons Goodson's nomination and now headed to the Senate floor is a nomination of a far-right conservative candidate named Thomas 
far. Very important, if you've ever heard anything in the news about North Carolina courts, as North Carolina has battled up through the Supreme Court about their right to redline and gerrymander and other ultra conservative battles to dismantle civil rights. This is a contentious fight that Farr has championed for the conservative movement. He is a moral poison as Time Magazine places it. And if senators are allowed to hold their belief that Americans are not paying attention to the judicial process, there is nothing stopping him or others. So the question is, what do we do now? The Lawyers Committee of Civil Rights Under Law is partnering with Smart Brown Girl to raise awareness and support the communities that are most likely to be disenfranchised by this lack of oversight on who our judges are. Not only are we most likely to be disenfranchised, but also because there is a conversation to be had about supporting smart brown girls and young black women who are pursuing their law degrees, who are trying to become judges and how we vote for them and how we as a community can provide support to encourage these young women to pursue the bench. So now it's about us mobilizing. We raise awareness and let our senators know that no matter the state we live in, we are paying attention. As more news sites are covering the judicial nominations like Slate, Vox, New York Times, of course, the Washington Post, they are doing more informative videos on Facebook and YouTube. Snippets from hearings are being heavily publicized. You do not have to go digging too far to be kept abreast. You can start with the nomination of Thomas Farr and call your senator today. And that you do not support the nominations of Thomas Farr to United States District Court of the Eastern District, North Carolina. All the details on how to make that call are in the description box down below. Let your voice be heard. And even if for right now, we aren't able to stop these judges being appointed, what does happen is that election cycle 2018 is coming around. And if we can be impactful, if we start paying attention, and if we let it known that our voices are out here, and we as community are not going to allow these things to slide, it will come up in the next election cycle, not just for your senators, but also we'll be more mindful about who the judges that are being nominated for state courts are. And that's how you start working the cycle up to federal and district nomination. Do you know any black women judges in your county? If you do, like name check them down below. There's, I currently believe there's like seven black women running in the upcoming Dallas election, six of whom are Delta. So if you're like me and a person who like is inclined to want to know more, but some of the legal jargon and like how you say things like, is it a judgeship, the bench? <laughs> I had, to do my, I had to do my Googles for this video. If you wanna learn more about how Supreme Court rulings work and have come to a better understanding of like why any of this really even matters, there is a podcast that I absolutely love called More Perfect. You'll learn how Supreme Court rulings heavily impact our livelihood. And mind blown to know that a civil rights case from I believe North Carolina, North Carolina really be a I don't think there's a any better podcast out. It is informative, engaging, and enjoyable, and you definitely walk away learning something. Links are down below in the description box. And of course, for more Smart Brown Girl content, always be sure to subscribe. Click that bell for the notifications. Hit a thumbs up. You can cop a shirt too. Deuces.